My name is Lynn Fial and today we are at RMV Studio in Stockholm. The studio that I helped build up 10 years ago, where I now work as the studio manager and in-house engineer. So I have this gigantic desk that's truly amazing, but I do mix in Pro Tools in the computer. And mostly because it would be too time consuming recalling everything since there's so many instances that needs to okay a mix. And sometimes you get mixed feedback two months later or more. And then it's just really easy to open your project and, and change a little gain level on something. And then you're done instead of recalling the entire desk, which could take hours. Unnecessary. My biggest struggle in mixing has always been ear fatigue. That before I'm finished with the mix, I don't really hear anything anymore. So to save some time mixing, I have a template that I use. Then I just have my favorite chains that I tend to return to in every mix in a template and I can just import them and I don't have to spend minutes and hours scrolling through lists of plugins and so on. So before I start mixing, I want to clean up the project. I want to have the tracks properly colored and that's mainly so I can easily find what I'm looking for while scrolling through a project because when I have a thought of a sound I just want to make that happen. I also cut away all the silent parts of the tracks. I have these few basic tools that I keep returning to. I mean if you look through my project there is an SSL EQ on almost every channel. I don't have to put energy on finding the right EQ for basic changes because to be honest, every sound in a track isn't that important. Some stuff just needs to be basic. I don't want to use energy to set the right EQ on a pad that's not going to be heard. I would rather save that time and energy for the sounds that will actually make this song unique. This is my template with Vilma's song in it that we just recorded, VCAs. I love VCAs. It's really easy like when you set too much compression instead of just going back and taking down the volume on 800 tracks, you can just adjust the VCA to get the right amount of mixed drums into the mix bus. The percussion doesn't have the same amount of processing on them because I've used those to mainly just fill out the tracks sides and make it wide. This together will help create depth. I have the percussion that's not very compressed and I have the super compressed drums. And then I get some depth for free. And then I have the bass. This bass is two tracks. One is very, there's no bass in it, but kind of to elevate the notes that's been played. And then there's a very subby bass. And yeah, the piano, the yellow little piano. This is what's the intro piano. Then it's going to move into the tight closed mic piano. And then we also did record some bass notes. If you wanted a bit more classy, just overdub the bass with a piano bass. <laughs> The vocals. So there's quite heavy distortion on that one. And then I have all of my reverbs, which is also part of the template. And then I just add my <laughs> standard tools, <laughs> change some of it. 